The name of this recording is Static Man. We're back. The pack is back, as the youngsters say. And look, we've got a guest in our, our arcade from hell. Look at him. It's... <laughs> look at him! Look at him! I want all of you to look at him. Okay, so next up in the compilation we got Pack and Roll. This one was a, a Wii game originally. Not as a standalone game, but as part of a compilation. So I would imagine that very few people played it. And like all Wii games, the controls are just total dog water, so you're gonna see me roll past the pellets many times. That's just how it goes. You know, with trends being the way they are, with the obesity and everything, someday rolling will be America's ma main uh, a method of transportation, and people will herald this game as ahead of its time. And Wow, how did Pack and Roll know that this was how people would, would move about someday? But yes, it's true, someday we're gonna, we're gonna be living like Wally, -E, or Boogie2988. Just like this ass-smelling blob, cheese-drinking, Crisco-bathing, lard-gargling, calorie-thieving, cabbage-patch-face-having, Kirby. Yeah, everyone's gonna be like that someday. You just gotta put down the damn fork. This is turning into an odd episode. But yes, you could say that every someday in the future everyone's gonna be a, a very big boy. Big boy. <laughs> what prompted me to say that, I wonder? <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Okay, so in this next level they're gonna mix up the formula and start throwing some enemies at us. Just when you thought you were comfortable with pack and roll, suddenly, BAM! Here's a new thing you gotta deal with. There's gonna be so many ghosts, you're gonna have to call the irate gamer. Remember when he hid that, uh, that second channel where he was a, a paranormal investigator? What a stupid fucking thing. Oh no! There's a ghost over there! What the hell? <laughs> uh, we love you, Chris Boars. Keep on being you. You're the the second least embarrassing person in Ohio, behind Scott the Wise. Wait, no, I think I got that backwards. Eh, uh, whatever. Let's go up this ramp and do a sick flip. Yeah, there we go. They ought to make a Pac-Man skateboarding game. Who wouldn't want to see that? Pac-Man doing cool kick flips on a skateboard and the, the ghost can be like a, a stodgy old people who don't support the skateboarding lifestyle. Yeah, that might be kind of fun. Oh, uh, whoops. God, why would they put the dots there? You evil bastards. So anyway, um, Germa of Germa fame also played the Pac-Man Museum recently. I was uh, looking at his video looking for jokes to potentially steal and there really wasn't anything to go on. It's times like these when I really wonder why Germa is as popular as he is. Because, uh, you know, he's got this reputation of, oh, he's such a cool, funny guy. And then I watched his Pac-Man video and he's just sitting there in silence for 75% of the thing. Hell, I could do that. Is that all it takes? That's even less effort than I'm putting in. Yeah, go Pac-Man. You deserve it. We need to celebrate Pac-Man's victory a little harder. Here, let me put something festive on screen. Now that's more like it. That is what I call a festive celebration. It's a funny word, isn't it? Festive. Around 2003-ish, my dad's new favorite word was festive, and he would try to work it into conversations every day. 
What a weird thing. Anywho, for all you OGs out there... No, that, that doesn't sound good coming out of a white person's mouth, but anyway... Um, some of you may notice the uh, similarity between this and uh, Kirby's Black Ball. A very similar... Wait, no. No, Kirby Tilt and Tumble. God, fuck me. Can't get my original Game Boy Kirby games right. But anyway, for those of you who remember Kirby Tilt and Tumble, the premise was uh, the cartridge had a, a motion sensor in it, and you could uh, tilt your Game Boy around, and it would make Kirby move in the game. The part of Nintendo's uh, weird sub-project of uh, a motion-activated uh, Game Boy games, like uh, the aforementioned Kirby Tilt and Tumble, and Yoshi Touch and Go, and... Worry you wear twist your dick off? Yeah, they don't really do that no more, do they? Nintendo just doesn't make fun games like Worry you wear twist your dick off anymore. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> the, the theme of this level is helmets. He's doing an impression of you, the viewer, when you were in school and he's putting on a helmet. <laughs> Uh, as comedian Ron White once famously said, Step w I can't do the voice, never mind. Forget I even tried to do that. So yeah, the helmet, uh, it, as you would expect, it shields him from damage, so now he can just ram headfirst into steel objects. And uh, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. You know, I probably shouldn't even say this, but just the general idea of how special ed people need to wear helmets all the time always just seems kind of humorous to me. I mean, I understand functionally why they need the helmets, but it's just so absurd. I mean, w when their mothers dressed them that morning, it was under the assumption that they were going to do something to hurt themselves. and. Who knows what and who knows when, but it's a pretty safe bet that they're going to bonk their heads against something hard at, at least one point over the course of the day. God, I'm going to hell. And so are you, viewer. We all are. We live in a sinful part of history. Oh, whoa. Careful for that guy. I don't know how to get that blinking light off of his head. I mean, it's not like there's a power-up somewhere where Pac-Man can just grow arms and legs and just tear that thing right off of there. What a silly visual. Picture it. Pac well, I guess he already has arms and legs, but rather picture Pac-Man with human-sized arms and legs and then the, the ball part's still the same size. and He would just be a total monstrosity. Okay, uh, we got some Indiana Jones-style traps we have to avoid. Don't want to end up like that guy at the start of Raiders of the Lost Ark where he has the arrow go through his forehead and they, uh, they find him later in the, the cave and it's, it's clearly just a wax dummy. They didn't actually kill somebody, but it's a good scene nonetheless. Anyway, I'm just starting to ramble here, so uh, that's probably enough pack and roll. There are many more games to play in the... Uh, fucking, you know what it is. Starring Dexter will return soon on Cartoon Network.